Ahoy, it is I, Nact, and I am back with some first impressions. This time, sir, this particular first impressions video is Graveyard Keeper for the Nintendo Switch. It's also available on PC and other consoles, I believe. Um, let's see, what else? There, it runs about the same in handheld mode as it does docked, so there's that. Really no difference at all, which wouldn't really expect much difference considering the graphical fidelity of this game. Now, this one was marketed to me as more of a gothic-style Stardew Valley, and it does kind of fit that aesthetic. Is an interesting game. You gather up your stuff from your nodes, like wood and stone. And more advanced nodes that require more advanced technology. Ooh, another body. I did record an entire first impressions video of this already and realized that, yay, my audio was not being captured. Because, why not? Why would it be? So yeah, you've got your graveyard to keep up with, your corpses to deal with. All fun stuff. Super fun stuff. Like you can do autopsies to change the quality of the corpse before you go and bury it in your graveyard or toss it in the river if it's a junky corpse. As one does, you know. It's always good to toss people in the river, sometimes. The quicker you get the body in the ground, the better, because it decomposes. And the higher quality it is, the better off you your graveyard is. Again, you can tell you, you can take your grave certificates and you can sell them to the bar in town. I don't know why he would buy grave certificates, but it's because he's the de facto mayor or sort, some sorts of the town. There is no actual save feature. You have to hope for an auto save, which happens when you rest in your house. So, I mean, I guess that's par for the course with the style of game, but I mean, could have been done a wee bit better. As you just saw, I got a little pip of something there. I need, what do I need? Oh, I've got what I need. That's nice. And you can unlock new skills, new builds, that sort of thing. You have stamina. You rest through the night to regen your stamina and health. Health is a red bar over your head. There is combat in this game, done with the X button, I believe. Yep. Had to check. You got your house, your basement, you can cook, you got storage in your house. The game's pretty good about giving you storage space, so that's a distinct positive. Like, you got all your crafting stations that you can build and set, lay out how you want. It's quite nice. Sort of. The, the big problem I was having with this particular game when I started playing out was... I really just wasn't having any fun with it. So I took to YouTube to learn more about the game, see if I could have a bit more fun with the game, and in and of itself that's pro a problem. Because there's a lot of things the game just does not tell you at all. And some of the things the game tells you are just straight up wrong. Like I've had some of the things the game tells me just be completely wrong. So, there is that. I'm trying to get somewhere I can't get to because, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, you can lay out your yard as you want. See, this is handy right here. Wooden marker, wooden cross. Ooh, wooden cross is nice. But, um... I'm not terribly sure this is going to be one of the games that I continue to play after this, because it's just not... doesn't feel great, basically. It's interesting, for sure, but... 
Like with the lack of how many things it tells you. Did I not just... Oh, okay. So yeah, the game does not tell you a lot starting off. And I mean... It wouldn't be so bad if some of the things it told you weren't just flat wrong. But some of the things it tells you are flat wrong, so yeah. I have no idea what I made just then. So let's see what I've got in my inventory here. Okay, that's what I made. So the whole goal is to get back home after dying. I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out, but... Yeah. Like I said, I don't know if this game's really worth the cost of it. It's on sale frequently, and I mean, if you can get it on sale and... Like, you don't mind... more morbid version of what is basically Stardew Valley with you know not telling you a great deal of things it is an interesting game I'll give it that much it is interesting but ultimately I don't know if it's really enjoyable like I said I was not having fun with the game at all so I took to YouTube to learn more about it so I would have a more enjoyable experience and that in and of itself is very telling when it comes to a game at least in my opinion like if you're not having fun and you have to go to YouTube to learn more about it to increase your enjoyment of the game it's probably not the greatest of games I mean I could see early days in Minecraft when you had to use the wiki to figure out how to build things but I mean I don't know like I said, I'm just not finding it all too fun myself, so I would hard pass on it unless you're really, really into the genre and really into, like, essentially, you know, morbid, morbid Stardew Valley and you'd like to, you know, get your morbid on, get your gothic on. Anyway, it is on sale frequently. If you're into this kind of thing, by all means, go for it. Pick it up on sale. It's sometimes complete edition is on sale for under ten dollars so there is that i'm just not that into it myself but to each their own i shall see you on monday for another first impressions video gonna be possibly wrapping up this batch of crafty farmy games sort of maybe next week we shall see special video on wednesday gonna do a first impressions of a pc game that's should be fun. Uh, what else? Tonight we will be streaming on Twitch TV, probably Warframe. Twitch.tv slash NAKTS7. There's a link in the description. I'm going to wrap up, stop rambling, say thanks for watching. Do the things, and I shall see you in the next one. Whoosh!